joining us tonight, I'm Ty Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. Arriving soon, the new name of the Las Vegas airport. Yeah, the FAA right now closer to officially recognizing the name Harry Reid International Airport. 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels is live now at McCarran International Airport with the details for us. Joe. Yeah, Todd, Trisha, this has been months in the making. You'll remember the Clark County Commission voted to scrub the McCarran name and legacy from the airport. Now it appears the FAA is making progress on recognizing the change. It's one of the most prominent places that welcomes millions of tourists every year, McCarran International Airport. But that name will soon be a relic of the past. This is in honor of a great statesman and uh, my adopted father and uh, I'm proud to be his adopted son. Businessman Stephen J. Kublek is thrilled after learning these official aviation maps from the FAA now reflect Harry Reid International Airport. The maps are critical for pilots to navigate the heavily regulated airspace above Las Vegas. They point out key locations like Allegiant Stadium and other reference points. 13 Investigates has learned the maps go into effect this Thursday. Back in February, the FAA said they needed to complete administrative tasks and update air traffic control maps before the agency could officially recognize the new name. But other noticeable changes like signs at the airport are still up in the air. The numbers are coming together nicely as to uh, what it will cost, not to be disclosed yet, but uh, obtainable. My first gift of a million dollars is still valid to jumpstart this campaign. Organizers and name change advocates have said the unanimous decision by the Clark County Commission will not cost taxpayers a dime. Instead, the money would be raised privately. I've seen some uh, first renderings of what the airport will look like with its rebranding. And boy, it's going to be representative of our beautiful world class city. The name change idea took off after last year's racial unrest. County Commissioner Tick Siegerblum, who put forth the proposal, said Senator Pat McCarran was a racist and anti-Semite, and his name is not worthy for the largest Las Vegas airport. The airport was originally named after McCarran because he largely shaped aviation policies we know for decades. Critics of former Nevada Senator Harry Reid have said he was too partisan. Now, if you put Harry Reid's name on there, it won't be a neutral. It'll be polarizing. Some people will think positively of him. Many will think negatively of him. And some estimates put the cost to remove the McCarran name from the airport around $2 million at least, possibly more. We reached out to Commissioner Tick Siegerblum about that and about the progress of the fundraising, but we did not hear back tonight. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Uh, Joe, thank you. And